lot of us have left Jesus and followed the other little small G-O-D and had to realize we had to go back to the capital G-O-D. Our subject going to be for the day, no shout cut to the kingdom. No shout cut to the kingdom. A lot of people is trying to take shout cuts to the kingdom. We're living in a time when men are looking for a shout cut in every walks of life. The word shortcut means to take another way out or lead the prescribed course and use another method. In the light of this message, we must not overlook the value of a shortcut. And there are all kinds of shortcuts in this life. We need in this life the service of shortcuts. A shortcut is very economizing. It will save time, energy, and money. But there are no shortcuts to the kingdom of God. Some people stand at home and watching TV ministry on the television, thinking it's all right to praise God. But we need to fellowship with our sisters and brothers in Christ. The builders of our text were looking for a shortcut to the kingdom. And their plan was to build a tower to heaven. And their plan was in willful opposition to God. People go around too many of the church activities, Sunday school, BTU, prayer meeting, and any other things. The scientists and the philosophers are saying we are living in an atomic age and a sparkling age. But I will take the position of saying we are living in a shortcut age. May we note some of the shortcuts. The schools have found shortcuts to education. We all know about that, don't you? We do not teach the child ABCs anymore. They say that is too slow. They don't let the lower grade children bring their books home anymore. A long time ago, a child had to know what was in the book before he can pass from one grade to another. But now they pass them by their age. They pass them by playing football. They pass them by playing basketball. Or any kind of sport, that's what they pass them by. This educational has caused our police to pay for protection for our teachers. The children nowadays seem to learn more at school about things that are not in the book than the things that are in the book. They learn a lot of things in school. They can tell you some things that you don't even know. The scientists have found a shortcut for the domestic life. People used to get married because they was in love. But now they get married for convenience. They not married because they love one another. They married because you can help me and I can help you, but this is supposed to be a two-way thing. And not only that, but there's a shortcut in cooking. Years ago, all the meals were cooked at home. But now you can get them all in cans and cardboards today. If you don't believe that, when you leave here, go to Popeye's. We used to can go on the inside. But now we go through the drive through There's a shortcut in traveling. Years ago, it took months to travel from one state to another. But now it takes only a few hours. Uh, the freeway serve as a shortcut. And there are shortcuts to the grave. And people driving crazy any kind of way. And you don't know how you're going to leave this place. 
The people back there that started building this tower were not heartless. They were intelligent just like you and I today. And therefore, they used their intelligence to a good account, so they thought. But the men and women of our days are not organizing themselves. Each one is trying to build his own tower. We cannot agree with the idea of these people who tried to build the tower to heaven. But we must note their unity. They were together. They were together in unity trying to get this tower built to heaven. They were united in one purpose. If there's any one thing that the church needs, it is unity. Some of the churches nowadays don't have unity no more. People in the church fighting against one another. One want to be the head of the church. But if God have given you a leader, that's who you should follow. Folks got their little click in this corner, can't talk to these brothers over here. Quiet members can't get along with the deacons, the deacons can't get along with the preachers. Church is not in unity no more like they used to. Some think they intended to secure themselves against another flood. God had told them that he would not destroy the world again by water. But they would not trust him as his word. It seemed that they wanted to weaken the power of God by setting themselves in comparison with him. But these short-sighted church members failed to realize there is no shortcut to the kingdom of God. When Israel left out from the land of Egypt, they were ordered not to take the shortcut. But they would not trust him at his word. Do you trust God at his word? When Israel left out from the land of Egypt, there was a shortcut that they shouldn't take. But they took it anyway. But they were led around through the wilderness. And everybody needs a wilderness experience. It is a sacrificing experience. The wilderness way does not present a broad way. It is a narrow way. The wilderness way is a way that only the people of God are required to travel. You see, you get tired on the wilderness way. And I know a lot of you tired is traveling along this dangerous highway. A lot of y'all get tired of coming to church on Sunday morning. And then we get tired on Wednesday trying to come the Bible study. You get lonely on the willingness way. You get perplexed, hungry, and thirsty on the willingness way. The willingness way was a 40-year journey for the Israelites. They had no shortcut to the kingdom of God. Nobody in here have no shortcut to the kingdom of God. Daniel had no shortcut to the kingdom of God. He had to go to the lounge then. The Hebrew boys had no shortcut to the kingdom. Uh, they had to walk through the fiery furnace. David had no shortcut to the kingdom. He had to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And that means he came in on one side and went out on the other side. Jesus had no shortcut to the kingdom. He had to go by Mount Calvary. All of us got to go by Mount Calvary one day. We not going to be here all of our lives. Whether you young or old, you got to walk by the trials and tribulations. There are no shortcuts to the kingdom of God. 